Hey guys, first of all, I want to say I am perfectly aware of how swollen my face is. If you didn't watch my two videos from yesterday, then um, I got my wisdom teeth taken out yesterday. But when I did the videos, I think I saw a gauze in my mouth for both videos. So, but now I have no gauze in my mouth. My, my face is just this swollen. And it's really sore, but the medicine is working for the most part, so I'm not in too much pain. I actually feel, like, full right now. This is the first time I haven't been hungry since, like, yesterday because I couldn't eat before the surgery either. And then afterwards, I mean, I had mashed potatoes for dinner, and it was the most painful thing. Like, even eating mashed potatoes was incredibly painful. But then I had cream of potato soup for lunch today, which apparently I'm going to be eating a lot of potatoes. But, um... And it actually had chunks of potatoes in it, and that was the first time I'd, like, actually chewed something. And, um, it actually went really well, and it actually filled me up, because I didn't eat that much mashed potatoes yesterday, because it was just so painful. But, yeah, at least I'm finally, like, eating more, kind of. And we leave for Florida on Monday, and I'm still not going to be able to eat some stuff then. So, hopefully, though, I'll be able to eat, like at least somewhat, like at least chew more because that, because obviously we're going to be like stopping in restaurants and stuff on the way down there and yeah. But one, I got freaked out last night because um, you're supposed to wait like 12 hours before you rinse your mouth out and it tells you that on that thing but my mom told me to go ahead and like rinse my mouth out like that night and so I did. And, um, I think I ripped one of my stitches out on this side doing that, and it was, like, really long, and in my, like, it started bleeding, and then it was, like, really, I had, like, a string hanging off that wasn't, like, stitched anymore. But then, um, it finally stopped bleeding, and I looked stuff up, and it said that as long as you keep it clean, it should be okay. And I talked to my friend Summer, who had her wisdom teeth removed, and she said the same thing happened to her, and it was fine. But then the piece of string, like, completely broke off, and so, yeah. But it, as long as it heals, I don't care. But I have to rinse with salt water, like, four times a day, and that is just so nasty. I don't know why, because, I mean, it's the same water that's in the ocean and everything. It's not like I've never had salt water in my mouth before, but... I just can't stand it. I had to do it like 15 minutes ago and it's just disgusting. I mean, I want to keep it clean so it'll heal and everything, but it's just so disgusting. And I'm supposed to do that for a week, so I'm still going to be doing that when we're in Florida too. And it's supposed to be like warm water, so I don't know how I'm going to do that when we're traveling. Like, I guess I can take salt with me, but yeah, that's kind of weird. But I, I really hope the swelling goes down before then. I don't know how long it'll take for my face to stop being swollen like that. My mom told me I should sleep too, like with the pain medicine, because the pain medicine makes me really tired. I have prescription pain meds, obviously, but I just, I can't take naps. Like the last time I took a nap was like junior year of high school, and it was just because I hadn't gotten sleep in like months, and I just came home from school and like collapsed on my bed and slept, but I mean, I have to be extremely tired in order to take a nap otherwise it just ruins my whole sleep cycle and I can't sleep and so I don't think that's gonna happen I also had to sleep on my back last night with like three pillows under me to like elevate my head because um, I don't even know why I'm supposed to sleep on my back my mom just told me to my mom works in a hospital by the way so typically when it comes to stuff like that I trust her but I don't know if they told her I think they did tell her that I was supposed to sleep on my back and, um, but I never sleep on my back. Like, it's such an uncomfortable position for me. So I tried sleeping on my stomach anyway. And I was, like, laying on my side. And I was laying like this. So I was laying on this side. And then all of a sudden, blood started, started bleeding from this side. And I don't know why, if it was the position or what. But after that, I actually slept on my back. But I usually toss and turn in my sleep. And sleeping on my back, I stayed perfectly still the entire night. Which is weird, but it, yeah, but it wasn't as comfortable for me. It would have been more comfortable on my side. And I'm ranting, so I'm going to go back to Tumblr now, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully less swollen next time. So, 